This is one of the reasons people don't like you, Cyrax. Beyond the fact that you're a sicko, past the fact that your content sucks, there's the fact that you are clearly full of shit. No, get a grip, Roboto. Activating memory boost, ah uh, yes. Now I remember, this was actually completely expected chance. You have a cycle, a series of repeated actions. However, I must say, it's quite a surprise to see you've started again before giving up on your previous channel. I mean, presumably, around the same time you made this baffling garbage, you also made this other garbage about giving up. I can see your confused chance, think of it this way. Step 1 is you start posting garbage on a channel. Step 2, people tell you that it sucks. Step 3, you rage. Step 4, you get smug. Step 5, you do or fall for something stupid. Step 6, you quote unquote quit. Step 7, return to step 1. You kinda went from step 5 to step 7 and then came back to step 6. But it really isn't surprising you'd count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 1, 6, 2, 3, etc, etc. No worries though, I know step 2 is my deal and that's what I'm doing right now. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Um, you guys are probably wondering what's with the day one hundred percent. Well, today's kind of a special day, man. This is a real special day for me because if you guys don't know, this dude right here is on the screen, Mr. Earl Pitts, man. I grew up listening to this dude when I was a kid. Like, I literally grew up listening to this dude on the radio, man. Super funny guy. Um, I didn't know this guy had a YouTube channel until um, literally yesterday. One of my friends that I grew up with in Florida, where I first heard Earl Pitts, um, ended up sending me the link after looking for him on the internet because they knew that I listened to him as a kid before school and stuff. So I'm super excited, man. I've not heard this dude in years, man. This is gonna be a throwback, dude. Like, this is gonna be fun. Now, I will be doing, like, if y'all do like this kind of stuff, I will be doing this more often for sure. But I had to react to this because I've never, like, I've not heard this in years. This one in particular, I don't think I have or have, like, I don't know if I have or have, I'll be honest. I don't know if I've heard this one or not, but dude, oh my god. I'm, I haven't even started it yet, and I'm already like, oh my god, the fucking nostalgia hit, man. Oh my god. Uh, but if y'all do like this, man, be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell down below to stay up to date with everything on the channel. And with that being said, let's get this going. I'm, I'm excited here. Oh my god. All right, not even two seconds in yet. Oh my god, that fucking sound. That brings back memories. That trumpet call oh is Rivoli, the universal military alarm clock. I can guarantee that you have never heard it as a wake-up call that applied to you. And before you say anything, save your bullshit stories about Gordon. Just a few days before she had him arrested at the pawn shop for stealing the urn on her mantle with her grandpa's earthly remains inside. Oops. Second off, she didn't bring her usual crocheted crap that none of us really liked. Instead, she bought us what's called Doc. Now, when Pearl was up, I couldn't understand why the hell Ruby thought we'd want a hockey puck. <laughs> uh -huh. thing, it sits on your table and tells you something. We plugged it in, found out there's a girl on the other end named Alexa. And when you ask Alexa a question, she answers. You say, Alexa, what's the weather like? And she tells you just like you've got your very own weather girl sitting on your coffee table, but without the blonde hair, big eyes, and low-cut sweater. And you say, Alexa, sing me a song. Now, she ain't no dolly, but she'll crank out whatever tunes Oh, good. Her. I see he's watching some. Well, comedy. I guess. If Larry the Cable Guy is too high brow for you, may I present an alternative that seems to tickle Chance. Not here to critique Earl though, just Chance's responses to him. For all you young kids out there, oh my god. Well the Chance, gonna stop you right there. This. This is another reason people want you off the internet. You're targeting children, you know it's true. Why stop to explain unless you were hoping young children were watching? Sicko proof number 420. Time for my meat bag to hit the bong. For all you new generation kids out there, if you have not heard Earl Pitts, have your parents pull it up and watch it. This is great. <laughs> oh, shit. I have not heard this in forever. Oh, my God. It's good coming back and reacting. Or not, like, well, not just reacting, but, oh, God. Whew, I haven't heard this guy in years. Oh, my God. I love this. I fucking love this. A little bit hard. I have never seen somebody try so hard to seem like they, A, are having a great time, and B, pretend to get jokes. The key word in the latter was pretend. Chance, can't you even see yourself here? Damn. <laughs> While Cyrax, talk about, tell me you haven't filled up a car in the last 10 years, without actually saying so. $27 isn't bad for 2024. Unless you're filling up a lawn mower or leaf blower. This is even more proof that you do not know what life has in store for you when you're all alone. 
No. Let me go back real quick. Why does that sound like every freaking Gen Z person in America or in the world in general, dude? Like, that literally sounds like, actually, no. That sounds like half of YouTube, man. That's like literally half the YouTube platform right there. He literally just called y'all out, man. He literally just called you guys out, man. He just called out half of the fucking YouTube platform. Bro, y'all just got called out by a fucking redneck. <laughs> called out how? Exactly? How do you connect 27 bucks in gas with a quote unquote redneck calling out half of YouTube? While I am a fairly intelligent robot, the only people Earl appears to be calling out are gas station owners or oil companies. I'm sure this made sense in your brain, but you did a really bad job communicating your thoughts to us, Raxo. Can you at least say which half of YouTube he was talking to? Anyway, to the fraction of it watching this video, I say, thanks for laughing at this garbage with me. Have a great day or night depending on when you watch this.